Battle ropes may not be our favorite thing to do, but experts say regular workouts not only do a body good, they can also keep your mind sharp too. Chemicals in our brain are affected by exercise, particularly vigorous exercise, but also moderate exercise. And so what happens to us is that we have release of certain hormones into certain areas of the brain, and we have a lower level of stress. At Serena's personal training, the workouts aren't easy. Five more. Evelyn Gilman isn't deterred, though. She knows that all that sweat equity is not only getting her heart rate going, but giving her gray matter a workout, too. It certainly helps my morale and my mood. I certainly feel better after I exercise. I must be sharper than I would be if I didn't exercise. So I think that it absolutely does help, and uh, I wouldn't give it up for that reason. Physical activity helps ward off serious conditions like heart disease and diabetes. But exercise doesn't just work wonders for your body. These effects apply to your brain as well. Fitness experts say 20 to 30 minutes per workout just two to three times a week can help prevent mental decline as we age. So what that means is someone who is inactive might start a walking program and they may even cut their, later in life, they may cut their chances of developing something like Alzheimer's by up to one third to one half. So it's, it's really relatively simple to, to start a program and, and to maintain it. Experts say there are a few reasons why brain health might actually get a boost from regular exercise. They suggest that aerobic activity, even strength training, can actually alter a person's brain structure, triggering the growth of nerve cells and blood vessels. And a good workout can also increase certain chemicals to the brain. We know that exercise increases brain volume. That means that our white matter and our gray matter uh, multiplies particularly in certain areas of the brain. And one of the most important areas of the brain uh, that's affected by exercise is the hippocampus area, which is an area that relates to memory and learning. So what's the best type of exercise? Research shows that a 20-minute sustained activity with an elevated heart rate is key because it helps improve blood and oxygen flow to the brain. In terms of brain power, yeah, aerobics definitely wins hands down. And it can be as simple as walking, jogging, it could be dancing or vacuuming. It doesn't really matter as long as it's activity. So as the old saying goes, use it or lose it. That's something that this spry senior is motivated by daily. I'm not leaving it to chance from what I've read, what I've heard, what I know about it. Exercise has to help. I choose not to leave it up to chance. And the good news is, experts say, it's never too late to tone, firm, and help keep your brain in shape too. At Serratus Personal Training in Winnipeg, Manitoba, I'm Nicole Harris.